My name is Busi Temeguayo. Thank you so much for having me to speak here. I can see some familiar faces with whom I've done work with in the past. Thank you, my bank account has appreciated that. But for the overwhelming majority with whom I've yet to converse and do business, I would love to. I'm going to share with you my uh, presentation, which I've had the privilege of delivering the world over, called The Black Sheep. I began having a number of conversations with these business leaders, and my question was a simple one. What is it that separates the best from the rest? What is the key DNA in any organization, no matter where you look in the organization? And I've been in business, I've been in corporate, I've sat at a number of boards. In fact, I serve on two boards today, one of them being a parastatal. And I obsess over this question. What is it that separates everybody else from that 1% best? We came up with a DNA. I don't have the time to share the entire framework with you, but I'll give you a couple of snippets. The very first one being that white sheep, as we call them, are product people. They genuinely believe it is the product you're marketing that matters. In the world you and I live in today, it's about the experiences we create. Our customers deal with us not on the base of the products we're marketing, but the experiences they derive from those products. We live in a world today that is called the edge of chaos. What is this edge of chaos? Without waxing lyrical. A good friend of mine, Dr. Walter Bites, who's currently the professor that runs the UCT Graduate School of Business, wrote a book called Rethinking Growth. And in this book, he hypothesized about this concept called the edge of chaos. So what he did was he gave up his academic career, he traveled the world, and he researched what we call MotoGP riders. MotoGP is nothing more than Formula One, but for riders. He found the top 500 in the world. When he found the top 500, he clubbed them all together, and he started going through another sifting process. He wanted to find the top 1%, the black sheep. Why? Because if you're not at the top 1% of your game, you're the rest, not the best. Just this morning, I was at Emperor's Palace. 2,000 people in one auditorium, and I was speaking to the old mutual global sales conference, and my message was exactly this. We need you to be the best, not the rest. It's no longer a world where we're turning the bottom 40. We're not turning the bottom 99, baby. We want the top 1%. So he started going through a sifting process. He found the top five in the world, and then he wanted to find what was it that made them the top five. Was it how many hours they practiced during the day, where they grew up, whether or not they had great schooling, were their parents influential or wealthy, or any of the other beautiful South African excuses you and I create every day not to be successful? And what he found, and take this humbly from a boy who's from Benoni, yes, I'm from Benoni. <laughs> Everybody has a vice. <laughs> Give him music. Don't judge. Are you from Benoni, sir? It's not your fault, eh? <laughs> what he found was what made them. The top 1%, the top 1% is, listen to this, when they reach a corner, generally the bike doing 243 kilometers per hour, that's no seat belt, no airbags. Eh? We black people don't understand this because you guys rig us about riding taxis and then you do this. Doesn't make sense, this thing. <laughs> At least in a taxi, there's always a big mama sitting next to me who can cushion the blow. You see, you guys, you are just there. You're like, ah, ride, ride, just die, just die. We don't get it. So what was it made them the top 1%? They reach a corner doing 243 kilometers per hour. The other 495 slow down. Because that's a natural human predisposition. When markets get tough, when we hit recessionary times, what do we do? We retrench and we slow our businesses down. It's called counter-cyclical reaction. And then we wait for the markets to tick up. So we can ban, I got it, I got it. I'm almost off, I got it. <laughs> don't you like how they play the music like you don't know? And I, we both know they're telling me leave. I know, you know. They know, I know, you know, you know, they know, I know. We all know. Sheesh. But allow me to finish this point, if you would. What made them the top 1% is when they reach a corner. The other 495 guys slow down. The top five in the world don't. They accelerate into that corner even farther. They take the corner at the apex. And then they throw their bodies off the bike, land on one knee, leave only one half of the other leg on the bike, throttle even more power into that bike, understanding a simple law of physics. That if the bike takes the corner at an angle with the least amount of weight on the bike, the bike takes the corner quicker. The edge of chaos. My presentation is about getting organizations to exist at the edge of chaos. Thank you.